This example, each graph below shows at least one complete cycle of the graph of the equation containing a trigonometric function. In each case, we're gonna find the equation that match the graph. This is the typical graph of the sine function. Because the nature of the graph of the sine is starting from one point going up to the max, down to the mean, and come back to the beginning point. So we're gonna look for the value a, b, c, and k of the standard form y equals k plus a multiplied by psi of b, x plus c. Starting with the a, a is the amplitude. Uh, a is used to find the amplitude, sorry. The amplitude is one half multiplied by the max minus the minimum value. In this case, the max is one, the minimum is negative one. So one half absolute value of one minus negative one turns out to be one, which is the value of the absolute value of the A. If absolute value of the A is one, that means the A either positive one or negative one. A is negative one in the case of we have the reflection of the graph. Since this one, no reflection, so we just ignore the case that A negative. That means our A equals one for this case. And then the B value is used to compute the period. For this graph, the period is the length of six pi, because when you look at the total length, that is the difference of the right end and the left end that is six pi. The right end occurs at six pi, the left end occurs at zero. So the total length is six pi. The period is six pi. That's computed from the formula two pi divided by B. So we solve for B, we have B equals two pi divided by six pi, or B is one over three. One over three. And then next, we're gonna look at the phase shift. The phase shift is the beginning point of the cycle. The phase shift is zero in this case, because the graph starts at zero. And the formula to compute the phase shift is negative C over B. Since the phase shift is zero, therefore the C equals zero. The next one is the K. The K is the vertical shift. This graph has no vertical shift. Therefore, the K equals zero. Now we get our four numbers. Then we're gonna put together as the equation of the trig function that represent this graph. So we meet Y equals K is zero, A is one. So gonna be Y equals psi times one over three times x as the equation of the trick that represents this graph.